Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to talk about paper 2 of SPM Mathematics 2021. Question number 1. It is given that the perimeter of a square is 4x plus 4. A square is a plan figure with 4 equal sides. Perimeter of a square is the sum of its 4 sides. P equals to 4L. It is given that the perimeter of the square is 4x plus 4. 4x plus 4 equals to 4L. Divide the 3 terms by 4. 4 divided by 4 equals to 1. x plus 1 equals to L. The length of the square equals to x plus 1. Express the area of the square in terms of x. Area of square equals to the square of its length. The length of the square is x plus 1. Area of square equals to x plus 1 in a bracket square. By using the formula a plus b in a bracket square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. x plus 1 in a bracket square equals to x square plus 2 times x times 1 plus 1 square equals to x square plus 2x plus 1. Question number 2. Diagram 1 shows 5 number cards that have been arranged according to a sequence. State the value of J and of K. This sequence is an automatic progression. The first, third and fifth terms are given. Second term can be calculated by the sum of first and third terms, then divided by 2. So do K. We can find the value of j and k by using the aromatic mean. j equals to 1 over 3 plus 5 over 3 in a bracket divided by 2. The calculated result is j equals to 1. For the value of k, k equals to 5 over 3 plus 3, then divided by 2. The calculated result is 7 over 3. Hence, states the patterns of sequence. We try to find out the difference between a sequence. The difference is term 2 minus term 1. 1 minus 1 over 3 equals to 2 over 3. Try to check the patterns of the sequence. 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 equals to 1. 1 plus 2 over 3 equals to 5 over 3. 5 over 3 plus 2 over 3 equals to 7 over 3. 7 over 3 plus 2 over 3 equals to 3. Therefore, the pattern of sequence is at 2 over 3 to the previous term. Question number 3. Diagram 2 shows the cross sections of a staircase. It is given that the gradient of the staircase is 0.25. A. Calculate the angle between the staircase and the floor. The staircase and the floor form a right angle triangle with a given gradient of 0.25. Gradient can be calculated by its vertical divided by its horizontal. So do tangent theta. Gradient is equal to tangent theta. Therefore, the gradient of the staircase 0.25, same as tangent theta equals to 0.25. By using calculator, shift tangent 0.25. The angle between the staircase and the floor is 14.04. B. Hence, calculates the length in cm of the handle. The handle is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Let it be y. By using the formula of sine, opposite over hypotenuse, sine 14.04 equals to 1.5 divided by y. Transpose the position of sine 14.04 and y. Make it y equals to 1.5 divided by sine 14.04 y equals to 6.185m. The length of the handrail is equals to 6.185m. I want to thank you for going through this lesson with me. I will see you in the next one.